good day once again my name is graphics today we'll be solving another exercise on line problems and we're looking at this figure here now like i said earlier in our earlier video that the first thing you should look out to is the external distance I and mean, the external diameter of this circle and if you look at the external diameter it is giving us <coughs> 90 right so you are going to divide your 90 by 2 to get the radius for in order for you to draw this circle right so now what you do first after getting the radius which is um 45 because 90 divided by 2 is 45 you need to get the center of this circle how can you get center of the circle you draw your vertical line and your what horizontal line just this way so if i take my meter rule my t square i'll move it to a level whereby i will be able to draw it so I will draw a long line, a short one, long line, short one, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, and short. Right? I'm having this. Now, the next thing I'll do is to draw my vertical line. So, with the help of my T square and uh, my C square, I'll get a point, a center point. I'll move it probably at this point here. Right? So, I'm going to do that. So, I will do have my vertical this way. Now, if you look at this, I'm having this. I've successfully got in the center of the circle. Now, I will now draw, take a measurement, which is 45, which is the radius of the circle. And I'm going to get to draw my circle. So, this is 45 here. And I'll place it at this point where I'm going to draw my circle. So I'll draw my circle this way and I'll thicken it. It should be thickened. You can see that. So now the next thing I'm going to do here is um, drawing. If you look at this very well, it's telling me that we have another center line, but this center line is at an angle of what? 60 degree to the horizontal 60 degree can you see that so what i'll do is this i'm going to take my metal rule i'm going to take my set square my t square this is my set square if i place it this way i'm going to get angle 60 when the set square is like this on your t square this is angle 60 this vertical point here so i'll draw that this way so I'll do it this way. The long one, the short one, long one, short one, just like that. Right? So if I turn it this direction also the set square, if I turn it facing the left this way, I'll do it for the other part too. So in doing that I will have this. I'll have the long one, short one, long one, short one, just like that. So I have done this. So, to look at it very well, we successfully drawn this line here and this other one here. Now the next thing is for we to insert our circle. We have three circles in a circle of diameter 90. So if we divide the 90 into 3, we'll be having 30, 30 each. Am I? Because 3 times 3 is 9. So we're having each of this circle here is 30 millimeter diameter. 30 30 and for you to draw a, a circle of radius 30 of diameter 30 you need radius of 15 that is 30 divided by 2 so i will take my compass here my compass and i'm going to measure 15 because i'll need 15 to draw a, radio, a, a circle of 30 diameter so this is 15 right so you need to be very careful if you didn't Get your radius properly. It will not touch. It will not um, touch. It will not be tangential to each other. Yeah. So if I place it at this point here, we know very well this center point here. I will draw the first circle, which is first circle, which is this. Right. I have drawn the center circle. Right. So now the next thing is um. I want to draw this and this. So what I will do is, if I place it here, hmm, 
if I place it at this point here, I will place it at that point also, and I'm going to draw my circle. So this is what I'm having here. Can you see that? So I've done this. The next one will be this one also. So I'll place it at this point here. Can you see that? At this point here. So I'll gauge it. So engaging it, I will have this this way. So I'm going to draw this. That is the other one. Now the next one is I've done for this. I can do for this also now. So I'm going to place it here. I'll get it. Right. So I'm going to get that. So they must all be touching sharp to each other, touching each other. I'll come to the next one too. I'll place it here. I'll gauge here and um, I'll gauge it very well before I start drawing. This is the next one too, right? So the next thing I'm going to do here is to draw this part and this part, which is here and here. So I'll place it at this circumference of this smaller circle also. I'll get the center which is here. You can see that this is the center here, right? So I'll place my compass at this point and I'm going to gauge it. Very important you gauge them so that the circle will not overlap. So most times it's my overlap. But you can see that too. I've done for this. Then I'll come here also. I'm going to do the same thing, place it here. Mm, this point. And I'll get my center here. This is the center here, right? And I'll come here also. I'm going to draw that. Have to be very careful so it will not overlap. So this is what you are going to get, right? So you can easily take your compass, place it at the center point here to do your dimensioning. You place it here and you get this this way. To this point, right? And you take your pencil, you make this point sharpened, and you make this point sharpened, and you do the same thing here also. You do the same thing here also. So this is 60 degree, and this is another 60 degree. Then the diameter of my circle here should be should be diameter of 90 mm. so thank you very much i hope this video was helpful don't forget to click on the subscribe button